Hey guys, back out at the range today to shoot the Glock 35, 40 caliber, the uh, angry 40 I like to call it. Shoots 10 millimeter ballistics. It's a Glock 35, has a lone wolf barrel in it. I like using these lone wolf barrels because I feel like I get more velocity out of them with the regular rifling versus the Glock rifling. So anyhow, this lone wolf barrel will have a link in the description below. And anyhow, we got the Glock 35, 40 caliber. We're going to be shooting some 135 grain jacket of hollow point. These are hand loads. We've got some 150 grain jacket at hollow point, also hand loads. 180 grain jacket at hollow point, and 180 grain hard cast. These are all hand loads. They're all over large doses of long shot, and these shoot 10 millimeter ballistics. A lot of people don't believe that. So I thought we'd do a little video today to show that. Okay, we're gonna start with the 135 grain jacket at hollow point. We got the Caldwell chronograph. Got it hooked up to the app on the phone. And we'll see the reading there. It's kind of a cool chronograph. We'll have a link in the description below for this. Anyhow, the 135 grain Nossler jacket at hollow point. Sixteen seventy. Sixteen fifty. Sixteen twenty three. Sixteen twenty eight. Sixteen thirty five. For an average of sixteen hundred and forty one feet per second with a hundred and thirty five grain jacketed hollow point. Okay, now we're going to do the 150 grain Hornady XTP over a heavy dose of long shot. 1438, 1474, 1504, 1425, 1505. For an average muzzle velocity of 1469 with 150 grain. Jacket at hollow point. So I got to jump in here real quick before we move on to the 180 grainers. After coming home and unloading my stuff and reviewing the footage, I realized that I grabbed the wrong 150 grain loads. Those were actually a half grain below my full tilt nuclear angry 40 150 grainers, which run at 1550 feet per second instead of the 1469 we just got. So I might have to do another video of those to show that they're running at 1550. But now we'll go ahead and jump into the 180 grains. Okay, now we're gonna do the 180 grain XTP. 1330, 13.56, 13.32, 13.17, 13.39, for an average muzzle velocity of 1,335 feet per second with 180 grain XTP. Okay, and last, we're gonna do the 180 grain flat point hard cast. This is my hunting load. 1,390, holy cow. 1,413. 1356, 1366, 1386. For an average of 1,382 feet per second with 180 grain hard cast flat point, those are beyond 10 millimeter ballistics. Okay, so now we have all the groups saved in the app. You just hit save groups and there they all are, right? And you just go back to the last one and it opens it up. And you can put notes here of your powder charge and what powder you use. And it shows the average, the standard deviation, the maximum, minimum, velocities, average. It shows the string. You can do as many shots as you want. It shows the power factor. Pretty cool. So anyhow, I'll put a link, like an Amazon or an eBay link to this chronograph. They're kind of cool. And uh, there you have it, guys. That's the Angry 40. 10 millimeter ballistics, Glock 35 with the lone wolf barrel. 
I feel these lone wolf barrels get a lot more velocity because of the tighter tolerances in the regular rifling compared to the Glock polygonal or whatever they call it rifling. Pretty cool. This is my uh, 40 caliber 10 millimeter plus P basically. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you like our content. We really appreciate everybody that's been watching. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.